During a Davis Creek survey in late July, I saw a tadpole duck between some rocks. As I scanned the water for the elusive youngster, I discovered a rocky mountain tailed frog. This species eludes predators by hiding underwater beneath rocks during the day, only emerging at night to hunt for invertebrates on the forest floor. Its small size, a full grown adult has a snout to vent length of roughly 5 centimeters, and effective camouflage make daytime detection difficult. The water temperature surrounding this specimen remained 45 degrees. Fast moving water at such a low temperature may seem counterintuitive for a thriving ectotherm, but tailed frogs remain in this state of voluntary hypothermia on a daily basis. During the winter, they enter deeper, fast moving water which doesn't freeze where they remain until the following spring. In order to maintain this static state for prolonged periods, the tailed frog relies on vascular respiration. This turbulent environment would limit persistent lung expansion, and the species has adapted by reducing its lung capacity. Notice the pebbly appearance of the tail frog's skin. This is actually part of its vascular system. Another distinct adaptation is the breadth of the final toe, which enables tailed frogs to grasp onto rocks. This being my first encounter with a tailed frog, I didn't understand its escape behavior. I also used caution when holding the specimen. This clip shows how it took advantage of my loose grasp. Tail frog surveys typically occur at night in August and September, when the frogs emerge from the water to look for prospective mates. Most of the adult tail frogs I encountered preferred moss covered embankments or logs, along portions of Davis Creek protected by a dense forest canopy. Notice the distinctive vertical pupil of the tail frog, a hallmark of a nocturnal predator. Observe the dark horizontal line that runs the length of the head. This offsets the vertical pupil. The iris is also modeled on either side of the vertical pupil. The eyes are prominent due to the absence of the tympanum, so the dark horizontal line provides much needed camouflage. The tail frog's name derives from the extension of the cloaca on the male of the species. Male tail frogs engage in pelvic amplexus, wherein the male grabs the female from behind, locking his front legs around her back leg. Most other frogs engage in pectoral amplexus, wherein the male grabs the female around the front leg. Pelvic amplexus enables male tail frogs to shift the position of their cloaca to initiate internal insemination. The male tail frog inserts his elongated cloaca into the internal cloaca of the female to paramate underwater for 20 to 30 hours. This adaptation enables the tail frog to reproduce in streams that would wash away the sperm of other frogs. Here are the genitalia on an adult male tail frog, which are about one centimeter in length. Here are some additional shots of the extension of the cloaca. Here is a female of the species. You can see that she has an internal cloaca. Rocky Mountain tail frogs lack ears and even ear bones. The noise of Davis Creek makes hearing superfluous. This species relies on visual acuity for hunting, reproduction, and evasion. Tail frogs may also use their olfactory sense for tracing pheromones and other chemical agents both above and below the water. Tail frog's tongue is attached to the back of their mouth, so they can't flip it forward to grab prey. Instead, tail frogs chase down invertebrates and snap at them with their jaws. In this shot, I'm zooming in on a tail frog tadpole. Tail frogs are the longest lived frog in the world, with longevity estimates ranging from 15 to 20 years. They also have the longest tadpole cycle. Females lay eggs in early summer after internally developing the eggs over the winter. Tadpoles then live off their yolk sac for an entire year. Their highly specialized mouth requires this extensive development. Tadpoles then spend another three years scouring algae off rocks. After metamorphosis, tail frogs don't sexually mature for another four to five years. No other frog takes eight to nine years to sexually mature. Tail frog tadpoles may initially distribute up to 100 meters away from an egg site, but individuals then spend their entire lives along a 40 meter stretch of Davis Creek. During their elongated tadpole cycle, tail frogs learn the contours of this localized habitat. Their sucker-like mouth enables them to scour steep rock faces with relative ease. Tail frog tadpoles are wary creatures always on the lookout for garter snakes, shrews, and cutthroat trout. 
they can detach from a surface in an instant and use the current to take them downstream. In the Salmon River tributaries, tail frog tadpoles often fall victim to Idaho giant salamander larvae. Several species of giant salamander also feed upon adult tail frogs. The pulsing of the throat enables tail frog tadpoles to pass water through food traps which isolate algae, pollen, and small invertebrates. The water then enters opercular chambers where gills extract oxygen before exiting the body through a ventral spiracle. Tail frog tadpoles can maintain this process even when relatively large debris cascades down the creek. The white dot at the terminus of the tail distracts predators. The tail is laterally compressed to streamline the body and help form an angular rudder when necessary. I want to conclude by showing you the powerful mouth of the tail frog tadpole. Most tadpole mouths are at the front of the head. The tail frog tadpole's mouth evolved at the bottom of the head. The mouth both scours rocks with rows of labial teeth and maintains body position in spite of difficult circumstances.